Hey everyone, well we're here, we're back, and today we're doing another anti-MLM video, and we're gonna head back on over to the website that shall not be named. We'll just call it that, I think that's uh, maybe the best name for it in the moment. Uh, you guys came up with some pretty clever, clever names for it, so I might, maybe with each one, maybe just call it something different. Uh, so we're gonna have, head on over to that website. Uh, look at the sub, see what the top posts of this week were, and just go from there. That's my intro. That's what I got for you guys. Let's get started. The Young Living Limited Edition Diffuser is literally a pyramid. 10th Anniversary Limited Edition Diffuser. Young Living, and it looks, I mean, I'm not even gonna say it looks like a pyramid. It is literally a pyramid like this post says. This has to be a troll from the company. It has to be. There is no other way they would do that. I said 10th anniversary, I meant 20th anniversary. There is no other way, unless this is fake. I have to see what the comments say. Is is this self-awareness? Paparazzi did it too. If someone Googles Young Living Pyramid Scheme, they'll just get this, or that was the intention. Sneaky, sneaky, beaky, beaky, freaky, deaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this sub. <laughs> um, that's, you know what? I mean, it's clever in a way if they are that self-aware that if they put something out that looks like a pyramid, this is just what pops up instead of really what pops up when you type in Young Living and then one of the first things that pops up is, is a pyramid scheme question mark? Hey girl, can I ask a quick favor? No, I'm not trying to sell you anything. What's up? If I give you a copy and paste post to put on your Facebook wall and tag me in it for referrals, could you post it for me? I will even enter you into my team and I $1,700 cash giveaway this month. There are multiple winners and no purchase necessary. Would you do that for me? It would be my pleasure for advertising MLM products. Here are my prices. $75 for a tag post on my main Instagram account. And then it goes past then. That's hilarious. They're like, I, you know, I would love to do it, but see, you should pay me for doing the work for you, for putting your information out there. I should get some sort of compensation, not just be entered into a giveaway that more than likely either is not real or I will definitely not win. And I like the title of their post. It says, got blocked by an it works hunt. Oh no. <laughs> hey, they tried to see like, if you want something from me, you gotta pay for it. But here's the issue is that the individual in the MLM is not getting paid so they can't afford their prices. That's the real problem. Barbie is a Mary Kay hun. Mary Kay Barbie limited edition, $50 each. They have not one, but two of them. Let me click to make it a little bit bigger. Wow, that's, <laughs> that just shows how big Mary Kay used to be back in the day. Like, I think I've said that my mom used to sell Mary Kay. I don't think it's as big now as it was then. And I think Mary Kay's in some stores, I think, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's like, Mary Kay teamed up with Barbie and that was a way to get, you know, little girls interested in, or little boys, interested in doing Mary Kay when they grow up because their doll is just like their, you know, parent or aunt or grandma who's ever in Mary Kay. And it's like, it's like how Disney, uh, officially or unofficially, I don't actually know, has teamed up with Sensi, created the... Maleficent warmer, which is still so cool. Oh, they also did the Yoda one. I've I've talked about that one, showed that one, which is it's really ugly. <laughs> they did baby Yoda so bad. So sad. I said I just called him Yoda, not baby Yoda. He's baby Yoda. What's wrong with me? Um and then uh Disney also with like Lula Row and Korean the leggings and the and the tops and whatnot. So I guess you know, if they can make money, they'll team up with whatever company. Why do all Huns act like millionaires? May I ask why you don't want to be a part of my business? I've offered you an amazing opportunity to sell luxurious products. You could earn your current yearly salary in a week in this business. I quit my job after one week and now I'm earning more than the CEO. You'd be crazy to turn it down. Sorry, but do you know how much I make in a year? I know you don't earn enough to go to a jeweler's tomorrow and buy a Rolex. 
Then the week after, be able to buy another one. It's seriously crazy. You won't invest in my business. I don't understand how you can say no to it. I have four spaces left and asked you first. So you should be thankful for this chance to get great money. So you're saying you earned thousands a week. Good for you. I'm not interested in your pyramid slash MLM scheme. So please go and pester someone else. If you're making that much money, you don't need me, do you? If you join my team, you'll be earning six figures in a month. You just need to initially spend 2,500 pounds on stock direct from me, and then you can distribute it to people you can recruit. It's simple business. Goodbye. This doesn't even sound like an MLM. This straight up sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> like absolutely 100%. And what this person said, what they said like, if you're making so much money, like why does it matter if I join your team or not? Like, why are you so persistent? If you make this much money and you are so set, you're making thousands a week, why are you so getting so annoyed that I don't want to join your team? Why does it make a difference to you in your life if you're this amazing, wonderful billionaire who's making more than the CEO? Like, wouldn't that make them the CEO? Someone from Scamway told me to research their company more before reading bad reviews. So I obliged. Interesting you say, we're seeking leaders who aren't easily swayed by the opinions of others, as I clearly am not easily swayed by your opinions, making me not the right candidate. Interesting logic. You are an independent business owner, yet you never once told me about your business or what crappy secondhand product you show. Maybe that overpriced air humidifier you bought is one of your products. I love how you never corrected me calling your upline your mountain biking coach. It was evidence from the start you are looking for gullible idiots to think Amway is a legit way to start a business. But you are right. I should check the Amway website. Let's start with the income disclosure statement, shall we? You have four levels, silver, gold, platinum, and founders platinum. One to nine years to get to silver. It will take someone one to nine years to be able to make a whopping $9,000 a year. Watch out, Jeff Bezos, Amway is coming. You should really rethink your strategy of reaching out to someone about starting their own business and then quickly saying, but I have to make sure you qualify or not my opportunity to give. Amway will literally take any idiot's money and run. I mean, they, they did what the person told them to do if they said, I need you to research more about the company uh, instead of, you know, just listening to the bad reviews that are going around or whatever. That's the thing is they want people to do research kind of, but they want them to do the kind of research that only benefits the company and makes it look like this wonderful, amazing opportunity. But when you do do the research, like I said before, the first thing that pops up is, is a scam. Is this a pyramid scheme? And there's been articles about it and there's blog posts about it and there's videos about it of people leaving said MLM and why it's a bad company and why you shouldn't work for it. So it's like, do you really want people to do the research or no? It's life changing. Hey Hans, I've been applying this skin cream and my skin has never been better. It is amazing. Only $49 for one life-changing bottle. This is a pyramid scheme and your fake cream has been proven to have harmful chemicals. Scam. Ha ha ha. Who would fall for something that obvious? Everyone is just trying to scam you nowadays. Unlike Monet, where you can start your very own business for only $99. It's a life-changing opportunity. Oh, it's so true. It's like... Don't look at, even though it, they may be similar, but they're garbage, don't look at them, they're a bad company, but my MLM company, they're the good ones, they're different, they can't be like that one, that's the bad one. Come look at my good one that charges you more, and don't question it. Bad company, good company. It's like an angel and a devil in their mind, it's like, don't listen to the devil company, come to our angel company and spend lots of money and create lots of downlines. Hey, are you tired of the nine to five? Are you tired of working for a boss? I have a business opportunity to get you out of the rat race to be your own CEO. It is a rare opportunity. You also have to be passionate about nutrition and eat healthy. Also need to be good at sales. If you don't want to make money, then don't be, but who doesn't need more? What? Please let me know if you're interested. I'm reporting you. <laughs> <laughs> the title says, New Aggressive MLM Recruitment Strategy. 
respond to me or I'll report you. <laughs> if you did report the person, like, you know how there's like the list of like reasons why you're reporting. I can't even think of like what the reason this person would put. Cause like, if you don't get a response, you can't say it's like anything aggressive or rude or, you know, any of the other things. Um, but I mean, maybe it was a threat. Maybe, you know, like they're like, oh, I don't want you to report me. Okay, I'll join whatever wonderful opportunity you have. I love being threatened into doing business with other people. Good evening. I wanted to reach out and let you know about this business. I started that is simply on fire. If you have a minute, I'd love to share some information with you about this incredible opportunity. If not, no biggie. Is it an MLM? It is direct sales, yes. I can. I am aware that they can be scary. I promise we are not like that. You can send me the income disclosure statement and I'll take a look. And they send it and this is for Monate. Okay, so that's a compensation plan, not their income disclosure. And then they send something else. Just found it. I think this is the most up-to-date one. Uh, so according to this, about 97% of Monate sellers average a gross income of $3,900 a year, which breaks down to $325 a month. Now, this is gross income, not net, so it doesn't include anything for a product to invest in or buy or taxes. As a salon owner slash business owner, that seems like an awful investment of my time and money. As a licensed cosmetologist with over 10 years of experience in the beauty industry, I have serious professional obligations to anything Monate. That's going to be a hard pass. I completely understand where you're coming from. I personally cannot speak for people who do not work their business or put in the effort to make the business work for them. That's not me nor my experience. I also know that a very large portion of our company, including hundreds of stylists who are now multi-million dollar earners, that is where I plan to be and I get there are people with hesitations. Well, I wish you the best, especially since the stats aren't on your side. That's just so much extra work to make, such a small amount of money recruiting people to sell a questionable and overpriced product. My heart aches for all the stylists promoting this. Good luck. I understand completely your objections. Have you or anyone you know personally ever tried the products? Yes, and the clients who come to me after using Monate require extensive restorative treatment to fix their hair and scalp. If you're interested, I can send you over some information about a brand I carry. Aloe vera based, paraben, sulfate, gluten, and soy free, ethically and sustainably made with aromatherapy costs less than $30. The science behind their products is amazing. They're made here in the USA and because the water they start their products with is so pure, they are able to get it down to zero ppm with little to no reserve osmosis processing. Then they mix said water with a highly concentrated aloe powder that is made from hand harvested pharmaceutical grade aloe. This is the base for all their products, so it's incredibly healing for the hair and skin. The best part is because it's aloe based, it can heal the skin and hair without ever being heavy. Amazing for all hair types. Huh, that actually sounds really interesting. Now, you know, hold on. <laughs> I do gotta say, I think this person was also like, putting this in here and online as a way to promote this. I don't know if it's their brand or if they get a commission for this brand. I don't know, but it is funny to be trying to sell someone in an MLM, specifically Monate hair products when that's, you know, kind of what the individual in Monate was trying to do. So it's like a reverse Uno card, I guess. What was something that you believed as a kid that you're now realizing was ridiculous? The concept of the tooth fairy. Why on earth would I believe that a fairy would come into my room at night and leave me Avon makeup samples for losing my teeth? Oh, this poor person. Like, I mean, that's just so sad. They couldn't even leave a quarter. They're gonna leave makeup samples. I mean, I guess it's something you want your kids to believe in, you know, magic of some kind, but I mean, I mean, it's kind of, it's okay, it is really funny. It's sad, it's funny, but uh, yeah, no thank you, Tooth Fairy. Keep your Avon samples to yourself. And now we're ending on a meme. We have nobody, girls getting ready to sell their pyramid scheme on Facebook Live. <laughs> it's, 
they look like they're dressed like a like a two thousands teenager, which I guess to be fair, most people in MLMs were probably teenagers in the two thousands, and I feel like a lot of people like once you dress a certain way, and maybe this is just me, I don't know, but I pretty much don't dress any different than I did when I was in high school. Jeans, a t-shirt, that's usually what I wear when I'm not at home, because if I'm at home, it's 100% pajama pants or nothing else, um, and a big comfy shirt, and no bra. I think uh, a lot of people would agree with that part. When I come home, bra comes off. <laughs> but, all right. That was a fun one. I feel like we heard a lot of stories and we got, there's a lot of like kind of sillier ones this week. There wasn't any like, um, I mean, I of course gloss over some of the more serious ones. Sometimes I add them in, sometimes I don't. It all depends on what I feel like reading and what I feel like adding in. But if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk all things anti-MLM in the comments below and until my next video I will see you guys then. Bye!